For some reason, Keffels keeps streaming about me, which is really weird because in April, and I didn't notice this because I had her muted, she like sent me a random message on Discord apologizing for lying about me, like straight up admitting that she lied about me. Hold on, let me just bring that up here. This is going to be a fun one to explain to normal people in real life. Keffels like randomly showed up at an, you know, crawled out of a hole to basically admit that all the videos that she made about me a few months ago were just bullshit that she was making up to get views from. So she said, Hi, sorry for being an asshole and lying about you in videos. I thought it was funny to do as a joke, but it wasn't cool. I wasn't in a good place and want to own up to being in the wrong. I don't think we will ever see, fully see eye to eye on many issues, but I have a deep respect to your commitment to anti-imperialism when so much of the left has completely abandoned it. And then a month later, I just responded saying, fuck you, because honestly, Jesus Christ. Now, what actions were taken to sort of actually make this apology mean anything? Let's check out her channel. Did she delete any of the videos where she's admitted to lying about me? Are they still up? Let's see. Ah, oh, every single one of them is still there. Interesting. So basically, this is someone who just, like, makes shit up to get, like, 19,000 views on a YouTube video. And then admits to you that she made that shit up and that it was wrong of her to do so. And then leaves them up in public after apologizing to you in private, acts like nothing happened, and keeps streaming about you. Like, every two weeks, she's, like, this, like I'm in her stream title and she's talking about me. It's just fucking bizarre. Like, I don't understand. These people are so socially, just socially maladjusted that this seems like a normal thing to do for them. What I think it is, is that it's, like, this sort of sociopathic I idea where an apology isn't for the other person, it's for you. It's to try and get something out of that other person. So she was, like, hoping for a positive reaction from me, but she didn't get it. And so she was just like, oh, fuck it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start... Um, making shit about him again. So, there's a very interesting thing to go over here related to Keffels. And this is, has to be, like, the weirdest fucking thing I've ever seen a streamer do. So you know how streamers absolutely love to say, slur to say slurs, right? They, like, they have to say slurs. I don't understand why they have this need to just be able to say slurs. You know, it's one thing to accidentally let a slur rip every now and again, like the R word or something. It's another to, like, make a point of saying it and repeating it just because people tell you not to do it. And that's something that Keffels does. Hold on, guys. Don't worry. I'm getting the receipts. Note that in this screenshot her avatar has a hat which says please be patient i have autism on it this is a tweet a very inconvenient tweet for her from a year ago she says i've met a lot of autistic people who are more well adjusted than me and i am not neurodiver neurodivergent she said that she was not neurodivergent an entire year ago now why this is interesting is because once people started calling her out for using the r slur constantly she started claiming to have autism she started wearing that hat in her actual streams. Please be patient, I have autism. She started wearing that and claiming to be autistic when she said that she wasn't neurodivergent before. Interesting, right? And this is not the only instance of this. There's more, don't worry. Says outright, I'm not autistic. I'm not autistic. While fetishizing autistic women as well. Matt feel when autistic girls. Like this is so, this is like streamer fucking, streamer prime here. Oh, and there's gotta be a picture of Keffels with the hat on. So she gets called out for using ableist slurs, the R slur, and she starts claiming to be autistic in order to be like, hey, I can say it, I'm neurodivergent. Even though she said like months beforehand that she was not neurodivergent. And she really just goes like full on into that by wearing the fucking hat too. It's even worse as well because the arsler has nothing to do with autism. It's people like appealing to like a mental illness in order to justify using a slur that has fuck all to do with autism in the first place. And she's faking it anyway. If you insult someone with the R slur and then they don't like have a, a mental disability or something, it's not like an insult that's directed against them having autism or whatever. It's an insult because you're comparing them to someone with that disability. It's the same as say like using the N word against someone who's not black. The insult implied there is that it's bad to be black. So you are insulting them by calling them black, right? It's the same sort of thing. So it's just incomprehensible any way you look at it. She's not autistic. She's lied about being autistic. She's openly admitted that she's not autistic in tweets that she has since deleted, showing that she's, she knows that she's been called out for this. Multiple times, she straight up said she was not autistic. Then, like six months later, 
oh, I'm getting called out for using ableist slurs constantly, and just rather than saying, sorry, whoops, I won't use them anymore, I'm gonna lean fucking into pretending to be autistic on the internet. Because I really, really, really fucking need to use or to use um, ableist slurs. I just can't fucking not use them. There's no fucking way you can just ask me not to use ableist slurs, man. And no, she didn't get a diagnosis. She took a fucking online test. Come on. And, and really, even if she said that she actually got diagnosed, would you fucking believe anything this person says about anything? Give me a fucking break. Would you believe anything this person says about literally anything? I hope not. I really hope you wouldn't. She will make literally anything up to win an internet argument. She will lie about anything. So she made a video nine months ago where she took an online autism test, like a questionnaire, obviously trying to get the result that she wanted so that she could, she could start like justifying her using the arsler. So it, it's just absolutely fucking bizarre. Streamers are just such maladjusted, weird people, honestly. It, it, it's so weird. It's so fucking weird. I don't want to be a part of this anymore. I probably will still be a part of it because it just makes so much money, but I really don't want to be. But I have no principle, so I'm probably going to keep doing it. I think the reason for, like, the obsession with autism among, among like, generic white streamers with nothing really interesting about them is because, you know, it's an identity... It's a... An identity category that you can claim to have, even though it's something that isn't really that perceptible in some cases. So they can like claim to have like some sort of special identity identity category that makes them like less crit critiqueable, that acts as a shield for them. And it's really just that. I mean, that's what she uses it as. For her, pretending to be autistic is a shield to use slurs. God, streamers are fucking bizarre. I don't feel good about being a part of this space at all. I never have, but I, I, it's been like two years now. It's not something to feel good about. Like, being a streamer is fucking embarrassing. And my stream is comparatively normal compared to a lot of these people's streams. Imagine, like, you know, bringing someone over to your house after a date. Though This would never happen because no one who watches these streams could ever get to that point. But assuming it did, and, like, you have, like, Demon Mama's stream going on in the background, and they're like, what the fuck is that? Why is there a... Is that, sing is that a song about going to the bathroom? Imagine explaining that to someone. I wouldn't, I wouldn't wish that scenario on my worst fucking enemy. The apology is fucking bizarre, in of itself, right? Obviously. The faking autism is even more bizarre. Like, the, the apologizing and then doing nothing to even remotely rectify what you did. And, and in fact, like, going ham on the person who you apologized to because they didn't accept your apology in the way that you had hoped they would. That's just bizarre. That's like abuser behavior. Very glad I don't know her. And I'm worried for anyone who does. I mean, yeah, it's weird to guess whether someone is actually this or that, right? But the way that these streamers use the this autism self-diagnosis to let themselves use slurs is a very high level indicator of the fact that they're just fucking lying about it. Actually, autistic people don't throw out ableist fucking slurs just for the hell of it, man. Especially those that don't even apply to them. I fucking believe you people watch this. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with me? Well, what's wrong with me? I want fucking money and this is how you get the money. What a bizarre apology, man. Cannot fucking wrap my head around that either. That's just so weird. Sorry for being an asshole and lying about you. I thought it was funny to do as a joke, but it wasn't cool. Anyway, I'm gonna keep doing it. What a weird person.